my name is James Rojas, and I'm a, a city planner and artist, and I use art as a way to uh, get people engaged in planning and also a way to get the public to understand uh, the power of the built environment in shaping their lives. Okay, uh, great. Uh, so tell us about one of your projects um, and how that sort of relates to social practice or social engagement. Okay, well, what I do is I do a lot of projects that are on site. Like, I'll take a, uh, you know, I'll do exercise with found objects, but I'll do it in a public space, you know, um, and uh, I just do a lot of uh, these kind of social public space projects that I'm applying. I feel that when people, when the human body is outside in public space, they have a, they have a better response to a client situation that because it becomes a lot room, it becomes a lot real and personal for them. Because when people are doing planning over a map or inside a room, it's very abstract and they're very disconnected from the actual, you know, process of the place itself. So they're in the place, they can make better decisions about what type of ideas they have or what kind of what they need there because they're, cause they're, cause they're responding to their body in that space rather than just their cerebral mind and, and on an idea. Right. You get way better turnout, you get way better uh, outcomes and way better projects and plans. Yeah, so how do you use visual art to facilitate this then? Or what is the role of like art in your planning process? Well, the whole idea of the role of art is to have people be creative and tap, tapping into their creativity and using that the, cre the creative process as a way to gain their knowledge and create their awareness. We're using art as a tool for frequent creativity in the sense that, you know, I, I, give them, I, I, use, found, I use found objects and have people play and it basically builds it, builds build uh, your ideal world using the found objects. So it's the objects itself become the medium that people use, or that everybody uses, uh, to uh, visualize their, their, their art practice, to visualize their ideal city. And in that, in that, in that, in that process, they self-reflect upon themselves and the environment they live in, and they begin to understand it in a more critical way. You know, because I think as, as children, you know, uh, we're all about the environment from like zero to four or five. You know, children put things in their mouth, they touch everything, look at everything. But their but their senses are, always, are are how they learn about the world and how they survive in the world. You know, and, and as adults, we still we still have these senses. You know, when, when it's cold outside, we'll put a sweater on. If it's a car's coming, we'll get out of the way. But it's all subconscious. And, you know, but people, but people still respond to that. Cause, you know, someone will say, I went to New York and I loved it, or I went to uh, Vegas and I hated it. But it's all a, a very visceral physical response. But, but, so, so, so it's, but, but, how, but, but how do you articulate with that, what, what, how that response is made is really important. And, it, it, and it's kind of stuff I want to know. Because that data will tell you exactly, you know, who, what, when, why people are doing what they're doing. Yeah, so how do you sort of see the evolution of the social practice field or the intersection of art and planning? Like, where do you see it going? Uh, I, I think, it, I think it's, it's going to get a, a, lot, a lot more popular because cause, cause, cause right now planning is failing. And, uh, you know, it's just really abstract, and we're not building the city that people want, and people are frustrated. And, you know, and also because of the... Economic conditions, you know, the job market, you know, uh, immigration, all the different factors are creating a lot more dynamic field of planning. It's no longer, you know, the GM opens the camp, GM opens the factory and hires, you know, 20,000 people and they build a city. Mm -hmm. you know, now it's very much, people are just very much on their own. You know, uh, you know, people are just kind of doing things on their own and uh, it's, it's, a really, it's a really different time. And, and people are also, and because of you know, climate change and all these kind of different issues, the resources could be depleted. There's a lot more emphasis on the individual to kind of make decisions about planning that are going to impact you know, the world in general, rather than comparing fighting with carry, just wanted a job and bought it, just bought a house in the suburbs and shop at the mall or shop at Costco, and that was the whole world because that's what they were programmed to do. Yeah. I think our generation could be a lot different. Yeah.